Kama unaona hivi nini imefanya na muda hiyo unajua iko au mbwe takuja baadaye The whole of this region they know that uh, rain makers of Ghana because whatever they say always come to pass they prove it we had the story about this Ghani community that is capable of making rain and we wanted to know to the extent they can actually make the rain and how they had been coping with adverse climatic conditions. The key problem has been that we have been giving weather forecasts and seasonal forecasts to try and help people adapt to climate extremes. These guys do not believe in what we say or what we do. So initially we were thinking of just using them as communicators. But then we we asked ourselves, are they really forecasters? Are they really meteorologists in some kind of way? Tuko na njia zingine tofauti za kupima hali ya anga. Kama vile tunatumia ndege aina kadhaa. Hasa hiyo nyumesikia ikiimba hiyo. Na kuna aina ya ants, termites pia tunasitumia. Na kuna muti, this evergreen ant hiyo ikipindua matawi yake. Ikiangalia direction hiyo jua mvua iko karibu imebaki masa fulani mvua ianje kunyesha. The plants have some hormones in them that respond to atmospheric humidity and then different species will behave differently. The reaction of the animals, the reaction of the plants to atmospheric conditions is so sensitive that they capture it even before our instruments capture it. What they are actually using is alternative science. Although they are doing it in a mystical way, when somebody sees it and uh, you see these guys are simply blowing bubbles. This is actually equivalent to a hygrometer or the humidity instrument that we use in the meteorological services. So they started seeing that it is not rain making on their part, but it is extreme good observation skills. Our fellow scientists really thought we were jokers. What good can come out of this? I was skeptical about it because when you hear traditional forecasting, what immediately comes into your mind is they are using witchcraft. But I became converted when I started interacting with them closely. These old men we are talking about also think that these eminent scientists are a big joke. It's both ways. Lakini sasa hii hawa na sayanzi, hawa na tumia ma computer na machine kadhalika. Lakini sasa hapa kwetu tunatumia ujasiri yetu. You know science wants replication, validation to be able to say that I saw this, you know, statistics. This other knowledge has a bit of spiritualism in it. They feel it's not what they can quantify. So it becomes very difficult to bring the two knowledge bases together. We can also come here and we through this pot. When we apply the rain, herbs, the rain will rain. They could sit in their shrines and pray to their ancestors and sure enough the rain could fall. You can just observe, but you cannot explain fully well how that happened. So I know they have the art of controlling. They did it, we also. In uh, terms of the traditional forecasters being able to control the weather, like sending away rain, that I must say I'm still a skeptic. Mimi na jiona kama mwanya science kwa mana. Nilizaliwa, babu walisaa, wakampa baba, baba na akasaa sisi. Siyo kitu kama yuko kwa damu, hata uwesu kutebea. Lakini sisi najua sayanzi hii ya mbua sisi iko mimi iko nayo na 
na watu wangu hao they know what you cannot get in books and we need to have this documented they are very secretive even within their own communities it has been within that secluded few and at some point they would give information and tell you this one you keep secret we cannot tell what types of rules do we use that is our secret Huh? Our IK. Uh, our IK only. You can't expose. Because our ancestors can fight us. For an academician it's hard because you'd like to pass the information to others to learn from. The people that are holding the information, they are not passing it over to other generations. The knowledge gets eroded with time. So it's important this knowledge gets public enough so that modern meteorological science can kind of work together with the traditional science. You don't go there with solutions, but we go there and develop solutions together. We came as learners, and so the community also thought, oh, so we also have something to educate professors on. Climate change has had a more profound impact on the traditional methods of forecasting because this depends on the natural environment. Climate change will change those behaviors. At that point, the traditional forecasting methodology will not work. For us, we are looking at measurements, and through time, we've been able to incorporate the changes in climate. So then, we are saying if they now believe in us, and our message is going through together, so they would still be covered. So you bring your forecast from Kenya Meteorological Service, you bring your forecast from these different old men who are forecasting, independently developed, and compare them. And therefore now we ended up having a consensus forecast. Diari Muse alikuwa ametangulia kuja kwa mapema sana kutoa forecast ile tumepeana pale kwa radio asubuhi I think we have demystified the barrier between the scientists and the local communities The people who really want to do this must believe but there is substance in it getting involved with the community opens up your eyes so you stop doing science for the sake of science but looking at it as a helping tool to change lives i believe that's what science is supposed to do